everyone my name is Rishan and I'm from 7B I'm studying in St Peter's High School today I'm going to talk about acids and bases substances like vinegar lemon juice and orange juice taste sour this is because they contain acids these substances are acidic in nature on the other hand some substances taste bitter like baking soda and lime water these substances are bases they are basic in nature and feel soapy when touched we can taste substances and tell if it's an acid or a base but not every chemical is edible if you want to test non edible substances we can use indicators indicators can identify whether a substance is an acid or a base by changing its color there are two types of indicators natural and artificial natural indicators are obtained from the, from nature examples of natural indicators are litmus turmeric and china roll today i am going to show you how do litmus and turmeric really work first let's this is the first solution i have got a red litmus paper let's dip it inside there is no change now let's try it with the blue litmus paper when i dip it in the blue litmus paper it turned red this shows that this solution is an acid now let's test the second solution First let's put the blue litmus paper. There is no change. Now let's put the red litmus paper. The red litmus paper changed into blue. This is how to use litmus paper. Now I'm going to show it to you how to use turmeric. First you need to make some turmeric paste. You shouldn't make it too thick or else it wouldn't work. Then you have to apply the turmeric paste on a piece of paper. and let it to dry i have already made a i have already made a paper which is covered by paste of turmeric now we have to take uh, using a dropper this, this is the first solution i'm going to drop it using the dropper there is no change it still remains yellow it still remains yellow now let's use the second solution now i'm going to drop it as you can see it is it is turning into red this shows that the second solution is base but the first solution is an acid in this way we can use indicators to find out whether substance is an acid or a base thank you